Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. So today we're doing iOS 11 on the iPad. And uh, oh my gosh, is that different? Way different. Yeah, as Apple says, um, iOS 11 was a giant step for the iPad, iPhone, but a monumental leap for the iPad. And it's true, it's very true. The all new dock and app switcher allows you such creativity and freedom on the iPad, it's, it's just fun. Yeah, yeah, and the way you can um, multitask, it's just amazing. Right, let's take a look. Okay, so here we are on the iPad, and um, the first thing that you're going to notice is there's a lot more stuff in the dock than the old iPad version or the old OS version had. So the iPad dock can handle um, a lot more icons. It depends on the size of your iPod, iPad. In my larger iPad, I can have 15 apps down okay. on the bottom. You'll also notice on the right there's a, a, a gray line, and then there are three apps behind it, just like on your Mac. These are your most recent apps that you've been in. Oh, how handy. Um, also, if you have handoff with one of your, I your other iOS devices or your Mac, it'll show up down here as well. So it's, it's very nice. On the right. On the right, yeah. And <clears throat> if I go into an app like Safari, the, the most exciting thing, yeah. that's very Mac-like, is yeah. you can just swipe oh, up. There's the dock. Swipe up from the bottom <laughs> and you've got the dock. So you can easily access your other programs. Right. If I want to switch into notes, I can just tap and now I'm into oh, notes. I love that. Okay. But that's not even the best thing. No. Um, because if we go back out to the to the main screen, the home yeah. screen, I can swipe up and keep going and I am in the all new oh. app switcher. And control panel. And control Car panel. Center. Control, control center. Control center. We keep calling it control <laughs> yeah. panel. The control center shows up on the right. Um, it's the all new redesigned iOS 11 control center. And mm -hmm. you can watch our video on that to learn all about using it yep. and setting it up. But if you look over to the left, and I'm going to start scrolling to the left, you can see all my open apps. Right. It's a very expose-like look if you're used to, to looking at that view on your, on your uh, Mac. Mac, where you can you know move your cursor up into the mm -hmm. corner and see all your open windows. So it's, it's really nice. makes it really easy to just tap on a on an app right. and switch to it they used to be like a deck of <clears throat> cards behind each other and it wasn't as easy to it see. wasn't as easy they made it a little bit easier as, as the versions mm -hmm. went on but it was nothing like this this is just really phenomenal i find myself just working right from within the app switcher and right. hardly ever out at the at the desktop anymore um <clears throat> so another thing to note is that when you're in an app and you pull up for the for the dock you pull yeah. up once for the dock but if you kept going, you would be in this app switch. Awesome. Yeah, so it's really nice. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into, um, let's say we're going to go into notes and we're typing in notes. And I want to bring um, something up. I'm going to go to full screen. I want to bring up a split screen yep. from, for mail. So I'm going to swipe up once so I can see my doc. I'm going to grab mail and I'm going to drag it out over the screen. And you'll notice that it looks like it's kind of floating mm -hmm. because this is the slide over mode. Yeah. So it's sitting on top of my window, and I can just <clears throat> get on the top of it and drag it back and forth. It'll either it'll either sit on the right or the left side. Right. Okay. So it makes it so nice <clears throat> to multitask between two different programs. Exactly. So if I have to go in here and find something and copy and paste it or do right. something, I can. Now to get rid of that slide over window, I can just swipe to the left. Perfect. To bring it back, I just swipe to the right. There you go. From the right, in yep. from the right. So you swipe back and forth to bring that up, which is really handy if you've got you know a program you want to yeah. get to all the time. Like now, with the calendar, like you might the, yeah. be looking at different things and looking at your calendar to see if you can do it. Right. You can swipe or it in or out. Shopping list yeah. or anything. Another nice thing though, whoops, is if I wanted to convert this to a split screen, I just tap and hold at the top on the gray bar, and now I can make it split screen. Oh wow! And you so, can and you can change the it. size by just getting on the gray wow. bar. You can drag it over, you can make it yeah, on the right. other side, you can make it split in the <clears throat> middle. You have so many new options. I think options. this is a feature that came out the split screen a couple systems ago that people really don't use. People don't use it yeah. as much. I didn't use it as much. I but know. now I'm kind of like, wow, this is really great. This is so much um, easier. Especially with the bigger iPad. Right. I find that it's, it's very useful. Okay. okay. So now we're going <clears> to <throat> swipe up from the bottom. I'm going to show you how, what if the, what if the um, icon is not in your dock? Okay. You've got an app. I want to bring up Adobe Reader. It's not here. 
So all I have to do is go out to the desktop. Now, this is where it gets a little minority report. If you've seen that Yeah, movie. in the movie where two they hands. use two hands on the glass yeah, to do yeah. things. <laughs> because now we're getting into our first two-handed action here on the iPad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap and hold down on Acrobat. And then I'm going to tap on the app that I want to go into. Oh, that's not right. Hold on. I tapped right. too long, guys. Too long. <laughs> tap and hold briefly and then go tap on mail. And now oh. it brings up mail. And here I am. I can do the yeah. slide over or I can do the split screen. Wow. Yeah. So that was fun. That was two hands. So, yeah. you know. It's it, pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I think... Uh, and making that little snafu there is a good thing to point out that this is tricky stuff. It's not yeah. going to be you know easy at first, yeah. but you just keep playing with it like we are, and you'll get it right. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to bring up mail, <clears throat> and then I'm going to bring up a new mail message, and I'm going to show you another really great feature, which is dragging and dropping. Oh. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the dock, and I'm going to bring the Photos app up here on the right, and I'm going to, I'm in screenshots and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this screenshot that I wanted to send to somebody and just drag it right over into my mail. Crazy. Okay. It's just like the computer. It's crazy. Now, another really fun thing that you can drag and drop <clears throat> is um, you can go into, I'm going to go into Safari. Where are you? Did it get off my dock? Oh, it must have. I'm going to go out and I'm going to go into Safari and then I'm going to bring my notes up. Right yeah. here, or no, mail. I'm sorry, I was in mail. I'm going to bring mail up as a split screen, okay, so we can see them side by side. I'm even going to make it half split screen. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up here to the URL, and I'm going to drag it over into my mail. And oh. now I've just put the URL in there for Is that. Is that crazy? You want to send a, a website cool? to someone else? Yeah. No copy and pasting. Yeah. You just... It gets Drag better. It, over. it gets better. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> do. We're so, we're excited. You can tell. We're gonna go from the all new files app. I'm gonna drag a PDF over from oh, iCloud. Wow. I just drag it over, and boom, it's there. In my it email. is. It's so yeah. much like the Mac. It's Dra so nice. It really is. Drag and drop is awesome. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Now another um, feature that we're gonna look at right now is something called Insta Notes. So I have my um, iPad, and if I have a pen that I can use with my iPad from... But you wake it up first. Yeah, you, you wake, wake it, up it up from the lock screen. Yep. So this is um, for the Pro, the big Pro that you can use a or, pen with. Or the small Pro. Right. Any Pro you can use a pen with. Yep. Right. And then I have it on lock screen, and I tap it with the pen. Oops, I lost my lock screen. I tap it with the pen. And there you go. Look at that. It brought up a blank note, and I can take my notes, you know, call. Sarah or whatever yeah. you want to type. Yeah, or you're, somebody's going to give you a phone number and yep. you have a pad of paper like, oh, just wait. swipe it it's up. It's so easy to do. Yep. And you can set up in the um, in, set, in the settings app, in notes, you can set up what is going to come up when you do that. Um, we have it set up a blank new note. You could have the last note you did or several other things. So that's something for you to play with. And um, it's not unlocking your your um, iPad so you can, can't have access to everything or someone else right. that could do this. So right. it's just a quick way to quick take a note and it's really fabulous. Right. Now the next thing we're gonna look at is called the, the new keyboard on the iPad, which I love, um, but it is only on the uh, not the big, not the big yeah. iPad, twelve point nine inch. It's not only, has. it's not only on. It's on every other iPad right. that can run iOS eleven, but not the big one. Not the big one. So, so, if you have the big one like my sister, you can't use this feature. But every other iPad, whether it's a Pro or an old Air, will have this feature. So yeah. we're gonna go ahead and plug in our other um, iPad to take a look at that. So now we have um, the regular size iPad up, <laughs> <laughs> the nine point seven that every most people have. And here I am in the notes program, and I have the keyboard up. So um, you can see it looks a little different. And yeah. when I uh, downloaded iOS 11 and I went, was on my iPad, I got excited. Um, you can see it has the regular letters, and then above it, it has smaller letters um, in gray. And what these are, these are the characters and numbers that were kind of tricky to get to. You had to press a button and then sometimes another button, you know, to, to see those keys. Right. And what they've done is with quick flick keys, they've made it a lot easier. So you can see, for example, if I type the F key, I get the F, right? Mm -hmm. If I quick flick down, quick flick. I get the ampersand. Now, uh, if I click the G, 
I get the G. If I click click down, flick, I get flick down. <laughs> it's not swiping anymore. It's flicking. No, it's flicking. It's flicking your. Well, you're just kind of flicking your finger, and once you hear that term, you do it with your finger. It makes it easy it to make, do. It does. And what I I really like um, the hashtag for when I'm on Instagram. That was that was one we had to push like two different buttons to, to get, get to, to it. it. Yeah. So yeah. if I tap once, it's the S. If I Click it down, it's the hashtag. Right. So it's really nice. Um, you can disable it if, if you want in general in keywords um, if you're having a problem um, with using it, but I think it's a really nice feature. Right. The other thing that's really great right from here that, that we didn't mention yet is above, you can get all the numbers. Yeah, real So quick you don't have to go into another keyboard to right. get your numbers. Get your basic really numbers. Like that. Yeah. And the last thing we're going to show you here um, <clears throat> isn't necessarily only an iPad thing. You can also do this on your iPhone, although it's a little hard to use two fingers on your iPhone screen mm -hmm. depending on what size you have. Right. But we're going to show how you can finally select more than one app to move it around on your home screen or That's on your amazing. screens. So all you do is you tap and hold on your first one to get the jigglies going. Once the jigglies are going, you start to move that one and then just start tapping oh. on the other apps you want to put in the stack. So You've got them I've got seven and now I can just like move them to another move page. page, move them back. Um, so again, right. you tap and hold to get it in the jigglies and then you have to move one of them. Start moving start it. Start moving it and then tap on another one. Once you've started the tapping, you don't have to move it anymore. Right. It's just you have to get moving first. So again, another. And then you can move them all to a different you can page. move them all to a different page. Boom. Oh, I just rearranged so your nice. whole iPad. Sorry. I love it. Yeah. I'll be all confused now. <laughs> but it is a great thing. It's another one of those two-handed uh, right. minority report-esque type yeah, of right. features. Getting really tricky with your iPad. You'll yeah. look really cool out and about right. doing things. Right. So I think these um, iOS 11 changes to the iPad were just really fun. Some of them yeah. are tricky and they need a little practice, but stick with it and you can do it and you'll really love it. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.